Hello, I'm Jean Lalande. Welcome to the Folders Pop-Up tutorial. Folders Pop-Up is an easy tool that will make you save hundreds and thousands of clicks on the run while browsing your frequently used folders and documents. When the setup is complete, Folders Pop-Up is launched automatically. To make sure the application is launched whenever you restart Windows, make sure the option Run at Startup is checked. Right-click the Folders pop-up icon in the Notification Zone and select Run at Startup. To show the Folders pop-up menu, first activate a Windows Explorer window and click the middle mouse button. Please note that this video was recorded on the French implementation of Windows 7. This is why you will see some French language here and there on the screen. When you click the middle mouse button, you see an example of the pop-up menu created automatically when you installed Folders pop-up. Let's select the Windows folder and see that the Explorer is automatically changed to this folder, to the Windows folder. Now let's return to the C root folder. See the My Project folder. Let's add this folder to your menu. Open this folder and bring the folders pop-up menu with the middle mouse button. In the menu, select Add this folder. In the Add Favorite dialog box, select the position of this new menu entry. Let's put it at the beginning of the menu. Choose a short name for your menu. Finally, choose an icon for this menu entry. When you are ready, click Add, then click the Save button to confirm your changes. Back to Explorer, if you go to another folder, the Folders pop-up menu makes it easy to return to My Project folder. Note that the middle mouse button works only when the mouse pointer is over an Explorer window. For example, if I open Notepad, the middle mouse button has no effect. But if you want to open a new Explorer window from here, you can hit the middle mouse button while you hold the Shift key. In the menu, select the folder you wish to browse, and because you press the Shift key, this folder will be open in a new instance of Windows Explorer. Now, let's return to Notepad and open a text file in My Project folder. Go to the Open File dialog box and hit the middle mouse button. The Folders pop-up menu lets you select the project folder and the dialog box is automatically changed to this folder. Now see how easy it is to customize your Folders pop-up menu. In the menu, select Folders pop-up setting. In the setting window, you can easily move menu entries up or down, or add separators between sections of your menu. You can also add, edit, or remove favorites and organize them in submenus. Don't forget to hit the Save button to save your changes. Now let's explore the System menu in the bottom section of the Folders pop-up menu. The special folders give you access to useful Windows directory. You will see that you can easily add entries to this menu. The current folders menu shows all the folders actually open in Explorer. This menu is especially useful in a file dialog box when you want to open a file in a folder that you just browsed in, in the Explorer. The recent folders menu shows the 10 most recent accessed folders re as remembered by Windows. Finally, the clipboard menu shows the file paths or web links actually found in the Windows clipboard. Back to the setting window, see the various types of favorites that you can add to your menu. First, regular folders. Then, special folders with a list of more than 50 predefined special folders. Documents, Applications with Parameters and Working Directory, 
web links, and submenus. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. See the Folders Pop-Up Tips and Tricks video for more advanced features or go to the Folders Pop-Up website for more information. Thank you.